Let me explain. I work. I'm a videographer. I'm working on my craft to get better, working on the business side. You know, my, still got a job too, y'all. I'm working on a lot of stuff behind the camera. Um, y'all know I love making these review videos. Y'all know this. And y'all know I would not leave y'all hanging without making a review video to catch up for episode six and seven. So without further ado, <coughs> Is the devil and Gucci loafers? I done made all these shirts, and he, you know what? <sighs> Abby boyfriend, a freak, y'all. So apparently, he is now involved with this episode, Superhead. See, the problem with this is that we're not giving credit to where credit is due. The original Superhead of this political game, Miss Monica Lewinsky. Ironically, during this episode of Scandal. I saw, you know what, I'm sorry, let me backtrack a little bit. Take it back to the last episode real quick. I'm sorry, y'all, I don't mean to do this, y'all. Okay, um, the highlights of episode six. Did y'all see that vice president snort on camera? Hey, <laughs> uh, and I don't, and like, it, they gonna work on that. Um, Abby had to fire her boyfriend because he was too mean to her, which I don't agree with. I felt that's really what's gonna go on in that situation. Um, Olivia's having all kind of breakdowns, man. She had a moment. Again, she's having a moment. And my highlight, to me, I know it's a lot of happened episode, but y'all might not agree with me that this was a highlight. To me, Huck's monologue, where he talked about B613, that detail, that was heavy. Like, you see human side of Huck, whatever, because they never really delve into his storyline too, too much like this. So I was really excited about what's going to happen for the next episode, though, because, like, like, Guillermo Diaz is a good actor, y'all. Like, y'all... Yeah, I know some of y'all may know this. If you go and watch Half Baked, that's him. F you, F you, F you, you're cool. And F you, I'm out. That was him. Amazing actor, y'all. Now back to episode seven. Abby's boyfriend is nasty, okay? He's with the new superhead, like I was saying before. But if we're not giving enough credit to the original superhead of the game, Miss Monica Lewinsky. Listen, I'm watching this episode, and during this episode, they announced in a commercial that Monica Lewinsky is having a talk. About what? I'm sorry, I got a topic. Now, this episode of Superhead is set with so many people in positions of political power, including the DA David. That's nasty. They had nasty nicknames like Sit and Spin. Ugh. They set all these guys in a room, and to me, it was so gross seeing all these dudes in the room because they all hit that. Like, like the entire Congressional Congress has been in this girl's panties. Like, like I feel the road to a like <sighs> the answer to the next governmental lockout is in this girl's panties Edward Snowden's email address is in this girl's panties the WikiLeaks to WikiLeaks is in this girl's panties and then she wanted three million for this story now everybody was gonna pay up and all that though but then they found a little inkling of what happened she had been like like she had been like assaulted by a, by a boss and fired and blackballed because she didn't want to engage in the promiscuous behavior that she had been known for throughout the committee. Now, I mean, that's a double-edged sword with that too, though. I know guys can do it and no big deal, and girls can't. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is on that, though. I don't know what to say about it. It's a double standard, yes, but... It does apply. Most guys that feel you are a hoe in some part of your life will assume you're a hoe in all parts of your life and will try to get at you. For real, for real. So she got blackballed. Um, they were able to convince her to go after her to get legal action. And, they, and then Olivia made two phone calls and like got her a great job with like another company, a great, a great interview or something like that. And so next thing you know, after a series of unfortunate events, this dude showed up at her apartment. Quinn and Huck happened to be there. They get that dude out of there, calm them down, she's freaking out. Huck kills that girl straight up. <laughs> was I like the only one who like immediately like busts out laughing when that happened though? I know that's messed up, but I just... <laughs> he was like, he's gonna talk, she's gonna talk, I know she is. She's gonna say something, it's gonna happen. Huck is going crazy. Let's talk about Huck real quick. He wants immunity. Full immunity. And, I, and he'll kill to get it, like, no lie, like, he wants his life back. And considering what's been going on with them, like, I think, 
I think it might end with either Hug getting his life back or his wife getting killed and his kid getting killed, sending him into a... I mean, I already thought he's over the deep end already, though, man. But I don't know what he's going to fall off, though. But he's going to fall off of something. I have not said Olivia's name yet, though, because I'm getting to that part right now. Did y'all see the part where, like, Jake and Fitz were over there talking about this girl's punani activity and how she's doing what she likes to eat and what she does? That's crazy, man. Like, y'all need to... You know what that is? They in love with that coco. Now, I don't know if this is a fantasy or not, but it looks like... Olivia was hooking up with, with a brother like I don't I don't Shonda you Shonda I don't Guys was that a dream or was that real though? I'm not sure what that was. Can you guys let me know in the comment section below? Also, let me know what you thought about these past two episodes and before I close this video I gotta give some very very cool shout outs to some awesome people that left comments in my last video I want to give a shout out to Kitty G, Leanne Mati, sorry, Liana or Leanne Mati, I'm sorry if I said it wrong, I'm sorry, One For All, Peter Baelish, Esther Sweet, I Am Mola Shea, and that's it. Remember, if you leave a comment in my comment section below, I will shout you out in the next review video. That's how I like to keep our community going. Just real quick. Um, aren't y'all mad that y'all ain't seen the Devil and Gucci loafers in how many episodes? Like, I know I didn't make these shirts and I can't even advertise them because you, he's not on the show. Like, why would you do... Like, okay, I'm sorry. Let me get off that topic. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching all my, all my review videos, all my Houston series, African Dads, all the shows, the videos that I make. You guys watch these videos. That's why I keep making them and I appreciate it so much. It's so cool to a point where I think some of y'all that watch Scandal actually at home call Eli Pope the devil in Gucci loafers. Like, people don't even know what that means unless they're part of this community. We have made a community about this, y'all. That is so tight to me. For real, for real. Thank you guys for watching and sharing. The season finale is oh, well, a couple days away now. It's coming up a two-hour finale event. I would like to ask your help. For real, for real. Now, the highest view I've ever gotten for a review video was around 900 views, which is really dope. That's real cool, and I love it. But for this finale, I would love it if I could get this video shared as many times as possible so that it could cross over 1,000 views, and I can get over 100 likes and over, like, 50-some comments. Like, I want to, like, I want to end this season with, like, a bang because next season I plan on doing this review Doing all my reviews in a much newer format, though. You gotta, you gotta keep up. Not keep up, though. You gotta switch it up. You gotta change pace. You gotta keep it fresh and original. So, for my last scandal review in this format, for the finale, I would love it if you guys could share it, leave comments, hit that like button, so I could cross over a thousand views for that video. That'd be dope. That'd be cool. You know, I got other videos that I got thousands of views too, though. But with these, you know, I want to see it hit a new level, though, because I know a lot of you guys like watching it. Y'all like hearing me talk. That's why I'm talking so much in this video, though, because I know y'all said y'all want longer videos, so I just want to make longer videos. While we're here, if you guys have questions you want to ask me in general about stuff, I plan on making my next Ask Me Question video, like, well, this week or next week, though. So along with uh, comments about Scandal, if you have any questions about videos I do, Houston the Series, Empire Reviews, Suggestions for new shows that you want me to review because I've heard a lot about power. I've heard um, Is it called house of cards? Um, I'll call black. I want to call black orphan as well I heard so I saw that in the comments down there too um, All that stuff. I want to I feel like talking with this video you leave me comments I'm reply back. We have conversations make it happen, but that's pretty much it My name is Shinadu C-H-I-N-E-D-U and this is PSA radio scandal review Please do not forget to click that like button, which is like down here or like over here somewhere, somewhere over here or over here. Also, please click the share button. And this, if this is your first time watching me, definitely hit that subscribe button. I got a lot of good content on here. It's all free and funny and I got some drama on here too. Got good stuff. Good stuff on here. That's pretty much it. My name is Shinadu, C-H-I-N-E-D-U, and this is PSA Radio. Thank you for your time.